Good morning, uh, children of class eighth. Uh, today uh, we are starting the second chapter, and uh, the second chapter is physical and chemical changes. And today we will be doing the first part of the video. Uh, last time we had talked about matter and its composition, so we would be relating some of the things with the previous chapter. that we studied now uh, when we see uh, matter uh, this matter undergoes either a change in physical state or some chemical state let us define what these two states are let us first uh, take uh, the physical change two kinds of changes that happen in matter are the physical change or the chemical change now let us look at these one by one first we will look at the physical change the physical change is a temporary change in which no new substance is formed and this can be reversed by a simple physical means let us understand physical change with some example let us see uh, when we dissolve sugar in water in the first example uh, when we dissolve 5 grams of sugar in 100 ml of water then we see that on stirring this uh, solution is a sugar a sugar solution that is formed and in this we see that no new substances are formed uh, on crystallization of sugar solution the sugar can be recovered back in its original crystalline form and therefore it is a temporary change now uh, we see that another thing there is no change in the mass during the dissolution of sugar in water now what does this mean that there is no changes mass this is because the same amount of sugar is still there or we can say that the solid sugar crystals uh, break apart in water as the sugar dissolves but the individual sugar particles or molecules are still present and do not change as a result of dissolving in water so the combined mass of the sugar and water does not change the fourth property that we see uh, here is the dissolution of sugar in water we see that uh, uh, sugar in water is dissolved and there is no energy change we see no energy change takes place neither uh, energy is giving given out in the form of light or heat or there is no other change in energy let us quickly look at another example uh, magnetism uh, magnetization of iron uh, in this let's take a shoe horse magnet and uh, in this shoe horse iron piece that we see here we wind a copper wire around this uh, shoe horse iron piece and when we attach the two ends of the copper wire to electricity what we see is that uh, the iron bar which is shoe uh, horse shoe shaped this iron bar it gets magnetized and if iron nails are brought nearby then these stick to the magnet that is created what we observe here is that the nails fall off when the current of electricity is switched off therefore this is a temporary change another thing we observe here is that the weight of the iron bar before and after the 
passing of current remains the same the weight of the iron bar remains the same and there is no energy change when we pass the current in the iron bar now let us see another example of uh, freezing of water in freezing of water we take water and we put this water into the refrigerator and when we put this water in the refrigerator the water changes into ice now this ice the ice cubes once they are taken out of the refrigerator then they take the heat from the atmosphere and they melt and they give the liquid water back again in the beaker now this again is a temporary change this is a physical change and a temporary change there is no change in mass the amount of water that was changed in the refrigerator to ice cubes the same amount of water is again uh, received back when ice melts to water so there is no change in mass occurring then we see that the heat is lost during freezing and uh, neither uh, the heat lost during uh, freezing is gained during melting and we see that uh, there is no change uh, here and then uh, let us quickly see other examples we see here a uh, camphor uh, some cam camphor say 5 grams which is taken in a crucible when uh, this crucible is kept inside a bottle and it is heated with a burner the camphor sublimes and it deposits as a solid on the walls of the glass container now uh, these can be uh, scratched off from here so we see that this is a physical change this was solid camphor and when we heat it then this without changing into liquid form changes straight away into vapor and this vapor uh, deposits on the walls of the glass container and uh, so we see that this is a physical change we get the product back it's a it is a reversible change uh, because we get the product back let's un take another example uh, here we see that we are boiling water inside a beaker and when we boil this water after uh, vapors start coming out we quickly cover it with a lid after some time when the boiling water cools and we pick up the lid what we see is drops of water that have condensed on the lid and so this is also a temporary change water was boiled changed to vapor and this vapor again can be received back in the form of water droplets so we see uh, that there are many characteristics of physical change that we saw from these examples let us quickly revise them we saw that it is a temporary change then we saw that there is a change in physical properties of a substance like it changes from ice to water or water to ice then the composition of the substances does not change then we see that no new substances are produced then we also see this change can be easily reversed uh, drops of water they get heated up and become water vapor and these water vapor can again be condensed and they reverse back to liquid water likewise we see there is no energy change involved in the physical change then there is no change in mass we saw that that there is no changes in mass we saw that uh, the ice cubes change to water and this water and the ice cube weight 
remains the same. The mass remains the same. So there is no change in mass. Now, the properties with physical change are called the physical properties. These properties can be determined uh, in simple physical observations. Some of the examples of physical properties are melting point, boiling point, density. We saw solubility when we were uh, putting sugar in water and making a sugar solution. Then we see color, uh, odor or smell. Then we see thermal and electrical conductivity. These are all examples of physical change. Let's just quickly look at some other examples on page 29. Like melting of wax, melting of butter, ringing of an electrical bell, expansion and contraction of substances. We see uh, like tires, they expand during summers. And when we put our vehicles or the tires back in a cool place, then they contract back to the original shape. Then we see sublimation of iodine or camphor, which we saw here in this example. Then we see dissolution of sodium chloride in water. We also see evaporation of water, which we saw in this example. And this evaporated water vapor we got back in the form of water droplets. So all these are examples of physical change. Now let us quickly uh, define what chemical change is. Uh, it is a permanent change in which the original substances give rise to new substances which have different compositions and properties. Also it is an irreversible change and it is accompanied by energy changes also. Let us quickly understand what we spoke about the definition of chemical change. Uh, we uh, take the first example of burning of paper. When we burn a small piece of paper on a Bunsen burner, then this paper, it changes into ash and we see that uh, following things can be observed. The paper burns which produces new substance in ash which is carbon dioxide and water. Then we see that the substances carbon dioxide and water, they cannot be combined back or the ash that we get after burning paper, it cannot be changed back into paper. So this is a permanent change. It is an irreversible change. We cannot get paper from ash. There is change in mass on burning. The paper carried more mass and the mass of the ash is less than paper. Then we see energy is given out in the form of light and heat in this experiment. Let us take another example of rusting of iron. In this particular example, we see that uh, uh, when we see that the first the nails they were not rusted. The nails were simple. They were not rusted. And these nails, uh, iron nails, they had iron in them. They are made of iron. But these iron nails, in the presence of moist air, they uh, got a reddish rust deposited on top of them. So we see that the rusting of iron is also a chemical change. It is a permanent change. Uh, we see in rusting of iron that uh, the iron nails, they when they get exposed to moist air, 
and then a new reddish brown compound called rust is formed and this is produced on the surface of the nails what we observe is that the mass of the substance increases then we see that new substance is produced first there was iron and in the presence of oxygen and water new substance is produced we get uh, ferric oxide as a new substance now the change cannot be reversed once rusted nails uh, are there then these rusted nails cannot be changed to fresh iron nails now we see that energy is given out though there is a very small uh, change in energy but energy is given out during this reaction now let us quickly see other uh, chemical changes like when we uh, put in milk some lemon droplets now what happens the proteins present in the milk they coagulate and they form paneer now this change is a chemical change the paneer cannot be again changed to milk so we see it's a permanent change it's a re- irreversible change now uh, let's take another example we take milk and in the night we add a little curd to the milk the milk changes uh, to curd and in the morning once we get curd from milk if we try to reverse this process we cannot get milk from curd so this is a chemical change also we uh, see ripening of fruits uh, like mangoes they uh, are green in color when these mangoes they ripen uh, these mangoes uh, are ready to be eaten now these ripened mangoes cannot be changed to uh, unripe ones likewise the butter when it is left in presence of oxygen in open air it begins to smell and this changes the taste of butter now this rancidity of butter cannot be removed so this is an irreversible change or it is a chemical change so uh, let us see the characteristics uh, from the above examples of chemical change we uh, let us revise it is a permanent change children then a uh, new substance is produced then we see that the composition of substances changes uh, what we receive as ash after burning paper the composition changes then we see that this change cannot be reversed ash cannot be changed back into paper then there is a gain or loss of energy we see that um, light and heat is given out when we burn paper then we see there is a change in mass of the substances we see that paper mass is heavier than that of ash now uh, we see that the properties connected with chemical change are called chemical properties and these properties are determined by chemical reactions uh, the example of chemical reactions we can see is like action of air or water like we saw in rusting then the action of acids like hcl h2so4 on our skin if uh, acids fall on our skin then it is an irreversible change we cannot change that effect on the skin when it becomes yellow it cannot be changed back to fresh skin immediately uh, then we see there are alkalies like sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide now uh, let us take eno for example when we get acidity in our stomach we take eno or we drink eno and that removes the acidity in our stomach so uh, this is a permanent change and then we see oxidizing agents like oxygen uh, we see oxygen in our body it burns food and the food after getting burned gives us energy now this uh, food that is utilized to 
गिव एनर्जी कैन नॉट बी अगेन चेंज इन टू फूड विच वी एट लाइक वाइज वी सी रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स एज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ केमिकल चेंज लाइक फॉर्मिक एसिड फॉर्मिक एसिड विच इज फाउंड इन एंड वंस एंड दे बाइट देन दे रिड्यूस द सब्सटेंसेज ऑन द स्किन दे प्रोड्यूस अ बर्निंग सेंसेशन एंड सो वी सी दैट दिस इफेक्ट कैन नॉट बी रिवर्स्ड सो ऑल दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ केमिकल चेंजेस सो टूडे वी विल स्टडी अपटिल हियर एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल फॉलो ऑन विद द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस टिल देन विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट विश यू गुड लक